Am I the only one disturbed that the uh, conspiracy guy gave birth to some Cuberts? Anybody? So let me start off this video right now with yes, we all know Pixels was based off this short film from the internet a while back, which they took from the Futurama episode. Let's just put that right on the table so everybody knows, because everybody knows by now. But anyways, Pixels starring Adam Sandler, the guy who used to do awesome movies, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, a bunch of other stuff. I gotta say, this movie, this comedy, was lacking in the comedy. There wasn't much comedy in this, is all I gotta say. But that's not the reason I like this movie. Yes, I admit it, I actually like this movie. For one reason only. And that reason is, the freaking visuals. The CGI. Yes, I admit it, the CGI in this movie is amazing. The graphics. My god, everything looks like awesome. Like the 8-bit characters from Nintendo past. Atari. Other games from the 80s. Good God, man. That's the one thing I like about this movie. Because I was like, watching this whole movie, like, I hated the fucking comedy in this movie. I only laughed a few times. Well, the one time I laughed my ass off is like, when Kevin James, oh, fuck. Let's start off with that. Kevin James is the motherfucking president. Seriously, what the fuck is that shit? Oh. Usually I can suspend my disbelief in anything. Hell, I turn off my brain for Transformers, Michael Bay and shit, because we all know it's going to be like that. <sighs> Cartoons, with no logic, because it's cartoon logic. But the fact that Kevin James is a fucking president in this movie, I can't get, I, I can't get out of that. Motherfucker! Motherfucking Paul Blart! Mall cop, you're telling me this guy is a president in this movie? How stupid are these people in this universe that they elected this motherfucker into the White House? Wow! Oh, oh my god, it hurts my head just thinking about it. Kevin James! If this was real life, we'd be screwed. Although they did have George W. Bush a couple years back. But this is motherfucking Kevin James. No offense to Kevin James, he can be funny when he actually tries. But seriously. The motherfucking president, really. So what was I saying? <laughs> See how Kevin James as a president just made me lose my focus? Oh yeah, the one part that I absolutely laughed my ass off was Kevin James as a president in London, talking to the British Prime Minister, and the British Prime Minister is just going all British and talking British-y. It's like, good God, even I could understand, could not understand what the fuck she was saying. And Kevin James said it right there. He's like, I have no idea what she just said. And then he just screams at her idea. He's like, I don't know what you're saying. That was actually funny. But other than that, like I said, the graphics and the animation, the, everything in between is amazing. We never got to see what aliens look like because like they didn't bother to write that in the script because who cares? Fuck it. It's an Adam Sandler film. But still, the characters from the game, every, every game known to man from the 80s, are here. And the big ass battle at the end. I was gonna throw a fucking rage if they didn't show up with Mario, but then you see Mario in the distance just jumping on motherfuckers. And I'm going like, yeah, you just earned a massive point with me. Also, they have Paperboy in there. I think that's the name of Paperboy. Yeah, Paperboy. The, the little motherfucker that tosses fucking papers at you at your door. That game. Hey kids, younger than me, who are born in this generation, remember Paper Kids? No, you don't. Go and try and play that game. You'll find it weird. But anyways, the conspiracy guy, I don't know what the fuck his name is. I don't care what his name is because he was fucking annoying. He, I just call him the conspiracy guy. I don't know what the fuck they were doing with his character. Was he gay? And then at the end, he's just falling in love with his chick, who q turns into at the end, which doesn't make sense. Even Adam Sandler said, like, this was just Q-Bird a few seconds ago. Does not anybody find this disturbing? Yeah, we find that disturbing. Oh yeah, the main female lead, the Fry, as Blockbuster Buster would say, the fourth romantic interest, Michelle Monaghan? I don't know, the very hot looking one. 
Yeah, Michelle Monaghan. Normally, Adam Sandler with his female lead roles has some good chemistry on there. Drew Barrymore is the best when he has chemistry with them. I could not believe this chemistry at all, because f- let's face it, she is indeed a fucking 20. A 20. And this is Adam Sandler we're talking about. Yes. So I kind of like did not pay attention to the romantic scenes between the both of them because I was just nodding off. Because I was bored. I'm like, can we get to see the video game characters again? Peter Dinklage, I'm glad that he's in this. He had a funny way of talking, but sometimes he didn't have funny jokes. Like, I don't know. It just didn't hit home half the time. Also, the cheating of the cheat codes for Pac-Man. I don't know how the fuck he does that in a fucking mini coop. How do you put in some cheat codes in there? How? But Pac-Man was fucking hilarious. And then they went all fast and furious on us. So they had to do other stuff from other movies. Like I said, Adam Sandler is just being lazy now and just doing whatever it takes. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sean Bean doesn't die in this movie, which is amazing. I was surprised as hell. Brian Cox, him and Sean Bean, the scene with them together like hugging each other because they're thinking they're going to die. It's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Come on, Brian Cox and Sean Bean just scared out of their minds. But yeah, the war scenes between the army and the aliens, the game aliens, is just freaking amazing. So that's all I got to think about this movie. That's all I got to say about this movie. Other than the laziness of Adam Sandler. Actually, like I said, I enjoyed the movie only because of the video game characters and just carnage going everywhere. But yeah, what do you guys think of this movie? Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.